If you wait until the right time to have a child you'll die childless, and I think filmmaking is very much the same thing. You just have to take the plunge and just start shooting something even if it's bad. Nature's imagination is so boundless compared to our own meager human imagination. People call me a perfectionist, but I'm not. I'm a rightist. I do something until it's right, and then I move on to the next thing. Hope is not a strategy. Luck is not a factor. Fear is not an option. There are many talented people who haven't fulfilled their dreams because they overthought it, or they were too cautious, and were unwilling to make the leap of faith. It took me a long time to realize that you have to have a bit of an inner language with actors. You have to give them something that they can act with. It'll be all of our efforts together. It won't won't ever be exactly the way I imagined it. And that is, I think, an important lesson as well, is that in any group enterprise it's going to be the sum total of the group. You have to not listen to the naysayers because there will be many and often they'll be much more qualified than you and cause you to sort of doubt yourself. I certainly didn't think of myself as gifted. The standards for being gifted in my environment were if you were good in Little League or if you were good in football. Imagination is a force that can actually manifest a reality. Don't put limitations on yourself. Others will do that for you. I mean, you have to be able, you have to have made the commitment within yourself to do whatever it takes to get the job done and to try to inspire other people to do it, because obviously the first rule is you can't do it by yourself. Every time you dive, you hope you'll see something new, some new species. Sometimes the ocean gives you a gift, sometimes it doesn't. I had read tons of science fiction. I was fascinated by other worlds, other environments. For me, it was fantasy, but it was not fantasy in the sense of pure escapism. Any direct experience that I have with indigenous peoples and their plights may feed into the nature of the story I choose to tell. In fact, it almost certainly will. The magic doesn't come from within the director's mind, it comes from within the hearts of the actors. I was always fascinated by engineering. Maybe it was an attempt maybe to get my father's respect or interest. Or maybe it was just a genetic love of technology, but I was always trying to build things. My mother was a housewife but she was also an artist. My father was an electrical engineer. I think people had somehow gotten the sense that we have explored everything, when that isn't the case. We so know so little about the ocean, and so much of it is being destroyed. Here's my philosophy in life, if there's a fire, you put it out. If there's a flood, you fill sandbags and you build a dike. You roll up your sleeves and you get to work.